Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. This is just a quick video in response to a question I get asked frequently on this channel and what browser do I actually use as my main web browser? As a lot of viewers of this channel comment that I have five different browsers installed um, with two canary versions of uh, two of those different browsers. Now the answer to that is I use Google Chrome as my main web browser for personal use and I use Brave as my secondary browser for the purposes of this channel, my YouTube channel called Brentech. All the other browsers are only there to review on this channel. So Chrome Canary, Edge, Edge Canary, Firefox and Vivaldi are only installed for me to review and post videos regarding on this channel. Now just to go through my Google Chrome browser quickly and the way I've got it set up and my options is basically I like to mirror my Google Chrome more or less how I have my Android phone set up just for easy reference, send in files, cross reference and just um, easy accessibility where it becomes, you know, just like a reflex where I know where everything is and um, basically it's just a mirror image. The two are just mirror images of each other. Now I don't like my um, my homepage to be cluttered. I like that to be nice and clean because when I open up my browser I just want a fresh start. And then you can see at the top if we just go to my apps, this is mirrored more or less how I have my Android phone set up. I have two screens on my Android phone and these are some of the apps I use on my Android phone on my first screen. Flashlight, Calendar, Collections and shop, uh, Google Shopping List are part of the Google app. So that's the closest I can get to some of the features in the Google app from my phone. And then Contacts, Messages and WhatsApp. Now I don't actually use uh, actual UWP apps from the Microsoft Store uh, for personal use on any of my devices. I, all I use are PWAs which I have installed um, in the Google Chrome web browser for desktop and then obviously on my phone those are mirrored with the actual apps on my phone. So for instance if I use WhatsApp that's a PWA. I don't use the actual app from the Microsoft Store. And if we go to my second page which would be the second screen on my Android phone here are some other apps. Um, I use my Bible app, Calculator, Instagram, Mixcloud, Google Drive, Gmail, uh, Google Keep, Photos, Play Store, YouTube, stu YouTube Studio, YouTube Music. Chrome Remote Desktop is only installed um, on my desktop version of Chrome. And then the Web Store is actually a PWA that comes pre-installed with Google Chrome. And then I have one uh, bookmark in my bookmarks bar and that's easy reference to my channel. And then if we just go uh, to other bookmarks, yeah, I have quite a few bookmarks I've collected over the years um, in different categories, just uh, for easy reference and research, which I find quite handy. And also I use, these are the default apps I would use for uh, uh, Google apps I would use on a day-to-day -day basis in that quick list of Google apps, that drop down menu on the home page, which I find quite handy. And then if we just move to the extensions that I have installed, let's just go manage extensions. Um, because I have Google Drive installed as one of my backup clients, we get the application launcher for Drive that can open files directly from your browser. Um, file converter, which converts different files and images to different formats. I highly recommend this if you're working with images on a day-to-day -day basis like I am. Google Docs offline, because I don't use Office on a personal level, Microsoft Office, I use Google Docs. And that means my calendar, um, uh, mail, uh, drive, all my docs and calendar and mail are set up offline. So I have access to that even if I have no internet connection. Uh, Google Keep, uh, where I can just save content to my notes, which I use on a day-to-day -day basis. Highlighter. Um, this I use a lot for my channel, which just highlights text on different websites for easy reference. Keep Awake, it's just overrides power settings. It's but like basically like um, sleep or hibernate or um, a standby on your Windows uh, laptop or, or, or Windows device. Um, I don't use this often, but there are times I've had to use this in the past. Um, lock Password, I highly recommend this. It's a password protection for your browser and I have been in organizations where I've also locked my browser down as well. 
even though my my device is password protected um i just found that this is just a second barrier of defense as i consider my google chrome web browser to be basically a gateway to my online computer so um, that is quite important in certain circumstances and then we have malwarebytes browser guard which i highly recommend as a ad blocker and just for to block any other little nasty things which could interfere with your browsing experience and i have made a video on this previously and then for business purposes i have the office app installed which is just a nice little handy um quick shortcut fly out menu with you know your different categories of office in the chrome browser and your most recent documents i find that very handy save to drive you can save web content uh, or screen capture directly to google drive and then uh, uv weather uh, that's just a little weather extension i have where i can just go check out the weather for easy reference as it just gives me the temperature in the top right as well and then calculator and and that's just a quick summary of the browser i use as mentioned i use google chrome and that's more or less how it's set up to mirror my android device just for um, easy functionality practical reasons and quick access and then my secondary browser is the brave browser and i use that for business purposes for my youtube channel so i hope you found this video useful once again thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one